Are you all right? I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touched her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. So be it. Let's go. Don't be afraid. I was your father's soldier. I'll not let anyone harm you. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. Shame you didn't show up earlier. Pay heed to whom you're talking. Pay heed to the corpses of those who were impolite to us. You're lucky Radovid told us to stay calm. I'll be sure to thank him personally for that. Beware of Radovid, Vernon. Rest assured. I'd never forgive myself if the heiress to Fulta's throne came to any harm. Don't ever take your eyes off her. I wouldn't be surprised to learn Radovid had a hand in Boosie's death. Anything's possible. Anais is Temeria's last chance for ultimate independence. A freedom will come sooner or later. Temeria is internally divided. As Constable of Temeria, I'm in no position to speak for the whole country regarding the Council and the Conclave. I am honored to speak on Temeria's behalf before this esteemed body. But I'm only the Constable. I cannot be sure some Baron won't cancel my signature in a week. What's your point, Constable? I lack my country's support regarding the Council and the Conclave. Neither do I intend to seek the Crown, for I've lesser blood in my veins. And, as a soldier, I know my place in the ranks. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the barony's current borders. The North cannot afford a divided Temeria. Everyone knows what that will lead to. In a few years, the Barons will be at each other's throats. No, a united Temeria means control of the Western Pontar. A divided Temeria is an open highway for Nilfgaardian troops. The choice is simple. Simple for you, perhaps, King. But to guard my henhouse, I prefer five lame Temerian mutts to one healthy, beautiful Redanian hound. I understand the drama your country now faces, John Natalis. But the solution you propose is unacceptable. Temeria will become Redania's protectorate. You will hail me, Radovid, as your king. Even if you guarantee the kingdom remains united and separate, the Temerian nobility will never acquiesce to any limitations on sovereignty. The nobles will change their minds when they learn who is to be my future bride. Allow me to introduce her, the future Lady of Tretagor, the Queen of Redania, Anais. Anais Lavalette? How? She was rescued from the hands of the sorcerer Deathmold, whose business in Loch Muin is shrouded in mystery. We will speak of this later, John Natalis. After all, we have not come here to crown children. Do you think the child will ever sit on the Temerian throne? Everything is in Radovid's hands. We prevented the kingdom from being divided. That's the most important thing. <laughs> How did it go with the dragon? It had a hard landing, impaled on a tree. But it's still alive. I don't kill dragons. The sorceresses could still use it. Roach, it may be one of the last living dragons. I can't simply slaughter it. All right, it's simple then. We need to get rid of Philippa. I'll leave you the honor. We'll get them, Witcher. The sorceresses have it coming. Radovid and the other kings already ordered firewood to be gathered for the pyres. What about the council and the conclave? I'd sooner expect the proclamation of an inquisitorial synod. Not all sorceresses deserve the stake. 
Uh, you can't make an omelette. Without breaking some eggs, I know. Doesn't hurt to wear that Redanian eagle on your uniform? It's just cloth. My true colors are on my skin. I'll never change those. You're gonna serve Radovid? Mm-hmm. Tameria needs a strong, independently-minded king, and I've no better candidates. Besides, I have to protect Anais. I see. At Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragonslayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. When King Fultest fell at the hands of an assassin, chaos engulfed his realm. Where others saw spoils, Roach saw his motherland bleeding. Vernon made a difficult choice, surrendering Fultest's daughter to Radovid. The Redanian ruler, trump card in hand, turned Tamaria into his protectorate and began restoring peace. The kingdom's inhabitants soon learned why Radovid was called the Stern. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. <laughs> 